fish are what makes our aquarium tank glow. Even though our tank has plenty of necessary things like substrates, plants, filtration equipment, etc., the presence of our aquatic friends makes it livelier and more interesting to look at. All the species of fish available in the hobby are worth trying for. However, there is this one species that will actually literally glow in a tank with the right lighting. Uh, you mean a fish that actually glows? It gl like glows in the dark. Let me get th this thing ate a whole fluorescent lamp? Well, kind of. What? What? I know it's quite hard to believe, but you won't have to worry about it, because as you go along with this video, you'll understand the reason why glowfish literally have the ability to glow in your tank, as well as the seven types of glowfish and the ABCs when taking care of them. All this information only here at Aquarium Store Depot. Have you ever wondered about those fish in aquariums that were so vividly colored and nearly glowing? Introducing Glowfish, a genetically altered freshwater creature that has swept the aquarium hobby. Aquarium fish known as Glowfish have had their fluorescent protein genes genetically altered to come from jellyfish. The initial discovery was made by researchers at the National University of Singapore in 1999, as they were attempting to implant a jellyfish gene into a zebra danio making the fish glow under fluorescent lighting was the goal of the experiment. They actually succeeded in that experiment. Following a meeting with Yorktown Technologies, the team issued a patent for the fish. As a result, glowfish were developed, and the Tetra Corporation still owns the patent to this day. The reason behind their tendency to look like they glow in the dark was not because they ate a fluorescent lamp, okay, but because of this. The fluorescent protein genes present in glowfish are thought to be responsible for the stunning variety of colors they exhibit. Red and green fluorescent proteins are made by genes carrying the necessary instructions. These proteins release light when they're struck by specific wavelengths, giving them their recognizable glow. Due to this occurrence, aquarium owners looking for something unique frequently choose glowfish. But what exactly are the types of glowfish that there are in the hobby? What are some of the care needs and statistics that you need to know about them? Well, educating yourself about all these things are easy. You just have to pay attention, because I'm about to start with the first type of glowfish we have on our list. Number one, the amazing beauty of the Cory catfish that will never fool you. Cory catfish are small, gentle fish with an armored body and a highly social nature. They prefer to live in shallow bodies of water, such as rivers, streams, marshes, or ponds where the visibility is poor. For their safety, they rely on strong scales, which provide them with protection from danger. Currently, there are two types of quarry glowfish available, electric green and sunburst orange. These quarries are arguably the most exciting addition to the collection, as these fish get along with nearly every other glowfish on this list. Their bottom-dwelling tendencies keep them away from the aggression of betta fish and tiger barbs, as long as the school of tiger barbs are big enough. Quarry catfish prefer a fine substrate to dig around in. This means that glowfish gravel that you see on sale are not the best for them. It's not their natural behavior to work through this type of gravel. They also prefer a heavily planted tank with plenty of hiding spaces. Apart from all that, they'll eat just about anything you feed them in a tank and are omnivorous. Purchase them in a group of at least five or six so they can maintain their schooling fish behaviors. You can mix both these species together without any issue. The second glowfish that we've got is the Tetra. Tropical fish such as tetras are a popular choice among aquarium enthusiasts for their pleasant temperament and array of colors. They naturally school together in mid-level depths of the tank. These glowfish derive from the black skirt tetra and come in the following varieties such as cosmic blue, electric green, galactic purple, moonrise pink, starfire red, and sunburst orange. You can mix all these colors together in a tank and they'll get along and school together. Note, however, that these tetras come from the black skirt tetra and exhibit some behaviors you need to be aware of. These fish prefer low light, which conflicts with the need of the fluorescent light to make them glow. They also have a nippy nature and a high probability of not getting along with some glowfish like bettas. To design the ideal environment suitable for keeping tetras healthy and active in your tank at home, create a space that's no less than 20 gallons. Provide numerous hiding spots that can act as refuge when needed. Keep water temperatures between 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Lastly, regularly feed them flakes and pellets alongside live food options or frozen items alike. But be sure that all meals comprise of essential nutrients necessary to sustain growth, which will help protect them against disease development due to deficiency problems over time from unbalanced eating habits. 
Long fin tetras are another species of glowfish that could shine beauty in your tank. These are the long fin varieties of the same black skirt tetra. They're offered in the following colors. Cosmic blue, electric green, galactic purple, moonrise pink, starfire red, and sunburst orange. They have the same water chemistry requirements and the same quirks with them regarding being nippy and preferring low light. Given their longer fins though, they will be targeted by more aggressive fish on the glowfish catalog like tiger barbs and bettas, and will struggle with fast fish like danios when competing for food. Going fourth on the list are the ever lovely and colorful danio fish. The danio is a fish that started it all. Originally, the zebra danio, also known as zebra fish, was the first glowfish that was available in electric green. Now we have blue, purple, red, and orange available. These dither fish need a group of at least five in order for them to stay less stressed and curb aggressiveness. They're best in at least a 10 gallon tank since they need lots of open space to swim in. Move over, narrator guy. Do you remember the story of Tiger the Barbaric in one of our videos? Here is Tiger, but now his rage glows. Bob Glowfish are one of the most polarizing additions to the collection. Regular Tiger Bobs are semi-aggressive, and these varieties are no exception. Just like our Tiger the Barbaric, they will bully and nip every fish in this Glowfish collection except for the Rainbow Shark. They're not for beginners, and are probably best in a species-only tank, or housed with a single rainbow shark in a group of at least 12, versus 5 like suggested on the Glowfish website. They come in three colors, Electric Green, Starfire Red, and Sunburst Orange. If anything, I'm hoping one day Glowfish comes out with a Cherry Bob or Gold Bob, as those bobs are more community-oriented fish. Oh, hey, hey, all right, get, get, get out of here, get out of here. Sorry about that. Jumping onto the sixth type we've got on the list, you better give a shot in owning a Pristella. Pristellas are small, brightly colored freshwater fish native to South America with a peaceful temperament. With regular varieties, males have deeper gray bodies and a more vivid red tail than their female counterparts. These species make excellent tank mates for other glowfish, as long as they're not kept with any long fin varieties, as they're known for nipping long fins. They're available in electric green, galactic purple, and sunburst orange. This next glowfish sounds too scary, but it will light up your whole world. Meet the Rainbow Shark. The sharks in the glowfish collection come from the Rainbow Shark. It is the largest and most aggressive in the glowfish catalog, requiring an aquarium of over 50 gallons to house them properly. The glowfish site states 20 gallons, and I will tell you, that is bad information. These fish, once they hit 3 to 4 inches in length, will come into their own, and if you house the wrong fish with them, they'll experience their aggression. The only fish I would recommend in glowfish's catalog would be the tiger barbs. Both species of fish go hand in hand and have similar temperaments as long as you can put them all in a big enough tank. These glowfish sharks have four colors currently available. Cosmic blue, electric green, galactic purple, and sunburst orange. And lastly, we've got here the betta that will make your tank look betta. The betta glowfish is the only glowfish I would recommend in small tanks. They can be housed alone in a five gallon tank or in a community tank at 10 gallons and up. They can also be kept in a group of females if you have a large enough tank, minimum 29 gallons. They prefer planted aquariums, and given their fins and slow-moving nature, they're best not housed with the plastic fake plants that Glowfish offers in their catalog. You're best to use silk plants or just opt out of the lighting for the Glowfish and go with a planted tank and use your moonlights when you want to see your betta glow in the tank. All these incredible Glowfish types are worthy to put in your tank. However, not because they literally shine on their own, most are easier to care for. In order to make them glow and be alive in your tank, you'll have to do some necessary best practices. What are those? Let's discuss them one by one. Starting off with the first thing you need to consider, creating a suitable aquarium for them. To create an optimal environment for your glowfish, begin by selecting the right sized aquarium and tank. Then ensure that it's equipped with suitable lighting which adds to its attractive characteristics while providing a comfortable habitat as well. While you can include decorations tailored specifically for enhancing the vibrant look of your glowfish, it's best to focus on what's naturally beneficial to them. When deciding on the proper tank size for your glowfish, keep in mind that at least a 5 gallon capacity is necessary. 
This is in conflict with the Glowfish website as they offer kits smaller than five gallons. However, I would not recommend any fish for anything under five gallons. Between five and nine gallons, I would only consider betta fish. After you hit 10 and up, you can consider other fish for a community tank. Note that the largest aquarium offered by Glowfish is 10 gallons. And of course, creating the perfect environment for Glowfish involves more than just lighting. To achieve a tank with a beautiful vibrancy, a proper light should be utilized to enhance their colors while producing an inviting atmosphere in your aquarium. Second thing you have to take action with is the maintenance of water quality. Glowfish species are native to tropical climates, which means they need heaters in order to keep the water temperature stable and within their preferred range of 61 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Of all glowfish available, the betta will 100% require a heater. The Danio fish is the only fish on the list that you can keep without one. In terms of water parameters, you should note that glowfish are less hardy than their non-modified counterparts. Also, many systems will not include live plants, which will limit the ability to handle nitrates. It's best to stick to the parameters when considering water changes. If any of these levels are off, you should do a water change ASAP. Also, the ideal system used specifically for these fish would be a hang-on filter. Some of the available kits will offer a baseline filter supplied by Tetra, which I consider okay. I would opt for a quality hang-on like an AquaClear or the new OASE power filters that allow you to place a heater inside the filter. And of course, like anyone else, Glowfish have a wonderful set of food choices. When it comes to feeding your Glowfish, there are various types of food you can give them. All the fish offered by Glowfish are omnivorous, so they'll eat the same food. Here are some types of food that work well, most of which are offered in flake, freeze-dried, frozen, or in pellets. Check out your screen for a much particular choice. I know that you're still wanting more information, but don't you worry, because we've got the answers that you need. Where could you find them? Only on our official website at www.aquariumstoredepot.com where detailed explanation and information about glowfish suitable tank mates, commonly seen behaviors, potential health ailments, breeding, and other answers to those frequently asked questions were posted. We keep these videos bite-sized so you can learn fast. The full information and updates are always available right on our website. Your colorful glowfish will remain healthy and lively if you maintain the proper tank size, provide the necessary maintenance, such as maintaining water quality, and supply balanced foods. These recommendations will help you make sure they remain fascinating in your aquarium for many years to come. If you have questions or you wanted to share your experience with keeping a glowfish, feel free to engage with us in the comment section below. Also, it would be awesome if you shared this video with your friends on the internet. And oh, before I forget, check out these previous videos we posted. I'll see you again on our next interesting aquarium related topic. Thanks for watching, fish keepers.